Hey, good morning from Columbus WDC. Uh, today we're starting off taking a look at uh, some fresh 7-gallon limelight standards. Uh, shot these last week coming off the truck, but uh, got them out in the pot and pot area. And again, just uh, fantastic heads on these. Uh, nice solid trunks and uh, still a lot of color on them. Here's another look at our 7-gallon uh, pot and pot area. Uh, these are uh, some Densiformis taxis and also took a, uh, a big load of 7-gallon uh, Hicksite taxis. Uh, as you can see, those things are all nice and uniform. Here's another shot of the 7-gallon hick size. Uh, nice body on these. As you can see, they're, they're pruned nicely, uh, very dense, very full. Also took a nice shot of some 15-gallon Green Giant Arbor Vites. Uh, and these things uh, got great size to them. I mean, they're 6-foot they're plus. Uh, nice body on them. And uh, again, we got quite a few of them in. Just another shot of these Green Giants. Wanted to stop and take a look at the three gallon Hickside Taxis. Uh, again, we looked at the sevens earlier. Um, nice batch on these too. I mean, not obviously as big, but uh, still decent size. Uh, nice, nice uniformity to them. Um, and again, uh, value wise, I mean, you know, dollars spent uh, on these are, are considerably less and, and get a nice plant for the price. Here's a Globe Arbor Vitae. This is in a five gallon. And again, nice size plants here. Really good looking. Uh, fresh foliage on these and uh, as you can see all very nice and uniform Here's another very popular dwarf arbor vitae. This is fire chief uh, in a three gallon and again uh, nice color on these uh, Over the cans good size good uniformity Just wanted to stop by and take a look at a couple of the rose houses here um, Again really stocked up on these these things are still blooming nice uh, Drifts are in here. We've got some some one gallon and some two gallon uh, knockouts, which again are in great shape. Here's a close up of a three gallon knockout. Uh, again, nice clean foliage on these. Uh, still pushing lots of color. And uh, again, just got uh, uh, quite a few of these in and, and keep a good stock on those, uh, as well as uh, your double knockouts here on the left. In the last couple weeks, we've been looking at a lot of the grasses starting to plume out. Uh, this is Gracilimus here, just starting to plume a little bit later than some of the other ones. Um, these are a three gallon, and as you can see again, uh, nice big clump here, um, good foliage, and uh, great value. Here's a shot of uh, three gallon dwarf fountain grass, uh, full plume here. These things are beautiful. Uh, again, these are uh, really nice sized plants. We do have a special running on these, and uh, still got quite a few to choose from. Here's Cheyenne Sky. This is a panicum uh, in a three gallon here, and uh, beautiful color on this. Uh, one of the few that give you a, a red tinge to them with, uh, you know, reliably coming back every year. And again, this is, uh, you know, starting to plume out. Uh, just a real great look, real solid grass here. Here's another look at a dwarf fountain grass uh, hamlin here. This is uh, in a 19 centimeter pot. And again, gorgeous plants here. Great plume on these. And, you know, value wise, I mean, here's, you know, almost a one gallon, uh, every bit as big as a two. Here's a shot of a uh, block of Hypericum Sunburst. Uh, these are in a two gallon. And a uh, great looking plant here. Again, starting to throw some color. Um, some nice yellow there. And a uh, nice plant here, you know, probably three to four feet high and wide. Um, pretty low maintenance and, uh, you know, great color on the foliage and, and then the flower that comes late in the summer. Uh, just an added benefit there. Finish up here today taking a look at uh, mums. We uh, have some nice red left. Uh, cracking color, uh, a lot of buds on these. I hope you enjoyed everything today. Uh, look forward to updating you next week. 